Hi guys, welcome to Road Rash TV. Now today we're going to be taking a look at the GMAC Live. Now this isn't the GMAC Glide of old, this is the brand new, updated, upgraded version for 2020. It's the GMAC Glide Evo. And for any of you guys that like a little bit of a discount, we've hooked up with one of our partner stores, MSG Bike Gear, to give you a 10% discount code on this product. But more about that later. For now, let's get on with the review. So what I thought I'd do is instead of letting you listen to me go on about the helmet, I thought I'd enlist the help of our friend Bobby Max and he'd help us review the helmet today. So Bobby Max, take it away. Thanks for inviting me along. You're welcome. Now for those of you that don't know, the GMAC Glide was probably one of the UK's best selling modular helmets out the years of 2015, 16 and 17 and probably one of the better selling helmets throughout Europe on those years as well. But make no mistake about it, the GMAC Glide Evo is even better. So I could probably do with a helmet to review. Here we are, the GMAC Glide Evo. So what we're going to do today is take a close look at this helmet. We'll probably start at the front, work our way around to the back, then take a look at the inside. Now the first thing I noticed about this helmet when I picked it up was its weight. It seemed very light for me for a flip front helmet. Most flip front helmets seem to be a little bit heavier than this, but I'm not actually sure what the weight is. Rob, what is the weight of this helmet? The helmet weighs in at about 650 grams, give or take 50 grams or so. Now given this is a flip front helmet, that's pretty light when you consider that most of the other flip front helmets on the market tend to weigh about 1750 to 1850, especially on this price point. I've seen some up as high as 2000, but yeah, no, this is a pretty light helmet, Bobby. Thanks for that, Bob. Now, one of the other things I wanted to talk about was the ventilation system on this helmet because it's top notch. Now, as you can see down the front here, we have this open closed chin vent, but we also have another little button just underneath which slides up or down depending on where you want the airflow to be directed to. So, in the down position, it will flow it up towards the visor keeping the visor clear and in the up position it'll push it more down towards the chin area to keep your chin cool. Now on the top of the helmet we have a twin air intake which is operated by this little slide on the top here. Um, now this enables the air to circulate around the head freely but we also have an open and close chimney vent at the back now or an exhaust vent I should really say. Now what this does is it creates like a venturi effect when it's opened at the back which helps to suck the air through the helmet and obviously keep more ventilation going through the helmet. Also I did just mention that this does have good airflow to the visor area but also it does come pre-installed with pinlock inserts. Do you want to tell us a little bit about pinlock inserts? Yeah so a pinlock insert. Uh, basically this is a, a shield that attaches to the inside of your visor inside your helmet and it creates like a double glazing effect. Now in effect what this does is it stops your helmet from steaming up on the inside at all. Even in the depths of winter you know in a really cold damp day this really does work and I, uh, I would advise anybody if you've not used one of these before, it's definitely a worthwhile purchase. The visor is an injection molded anti-scratch wide vision visor and it's also multi-position as you can see. It has a quick release visor system on it, I'm not going to bother taking it off but let me assure you it is a very very easy one to work. Now the helmet itself retails at around about £90 which I'm sure you can agree is very very good for a helmet of this quality. It's got really really great lines and you can see a lot of design work's gone into this helmet. Would you agree? You know you're right Bobby, this helmet does have great lines. Now although there's clearly a lot of design work gone into this helmet let's not lose sight of the fact that helmets are primarily about safety that's why this helmet was designed to surpass the latest EC 2205 European safety standards for helmets and it passed it with flying colours so you can be sure when you've got one of these helmets that your head is in safe hands or or should I say your head is in a very very safe helmet now the flip on this helmet is operated by a little button just under the chin bar all you need to do is pull it up and the helmet's chin bar will glide up really really smoothly. I think that's one of the reasons they called it the glide because let me say it is a very very smooth mechanism they've created here. Now if you want to lock it into position there's also a little button on the side here that you just push up and it locks the chin bar into the up position. 
Now as standard out of the box, the helmet comes supplied with a removable chin curtain, which is important for a couple of reasons. First of all, the chin curtain is good to remove on a hot summer day and it just allows a little bit more air to circulate around the helmet. But secondly, if you leave the chin curtain installed and you're doing any sort of vlogging or you've got some sort of a communication kit on your helmet, like a card or a Senna or something like that, it really helps to keep the wind noise down around the chin, which makes it easier to communicate with other people because you get better clarity of voice without that wind whistling around your chin. Now the helmet also comes with a retractable sunshade which is operated by a little lever just down the side here. Again, it's a glide smooth motion on this. So obviously nowadays, you know, if you're thinking of purchasing a helmet that doesn't have a retractable sunshade, I, I would think again to be honest with you, these things are absolutely brilliant. You know, when you're out on a morning and it's early and you've got the sunlight in your eyes or late on an evening perhaps, you, you know, it's a valuable, valuable little bit of safety kit of these sunshades. So like I said, if you think of buying a helmet without one I would think again just pay the extra 10 bucks or so get yourself a sunshade and get yourself the safety. So one of the other things we really like about this helmet is the way it fits. It is a particularly comfortable helmet. Now nowadays there's a lot of people I think would sacrifice the way something looks for the comfort but with this helmet you really don't need to. I think GMAC have also paid particular attention to what a lot of helmets are missing nowadays and that's good deep ear voids. Uh, the reason I'm saying this is a lot of us nowadays want to use some sort of communication kit as I mentioned earlier. Now with a deep ear void it enables you to put the speakers in without compromising on the comfort because some of the helmets I've worn where you've had to put a pair of speakers in are just not comfortable at all. So thumbs up GMAC, I think you've done a great job on this helmet especially when it comes up to the comfort side of things. Now guys it's time for you to enter into the competition so you can get your hands on one of these for free. All you need to do is like and subscribe down the bottom there to our Road Rash TV page and we can tell you when we have any further reviews if you hit the bell icon. Head over to the MSG Facebook page, like and share there. So as promised earlier, we do have a 10% discount code for you. It's this one just here, so write this one down because this is the one you're going to need. Now we hooked up with our old buddies MSG Bike Gear, I've put a link in the description below to their website so you can use this code. Now it is exclusive to Road Rash TV and that is the only website you can use this code on so be sure to follow that link if you want one. I have also put down a link to eBay and Amazon if you wish to buy it the old fashioned way and just go to eBay or Amazon and don't forget the only link you can use for the 10% discount code is the MSG Bike Gear's own website. If you'd like to check out another tech or helmet review from Road Rash TV, just hit that box up there because there's one up there for you to watch. All that remains for me to say is, cheers Bobby, cheers MSG, cheers you, see you again.